airplane taking off? Oh, I think my husband's mowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hello, uh, Team Galloway. I want to welcome you to week number one on the June Games. And we have seven participants tonight. And I'm just uh, thrilled to uh, welcome each of you. Oh, now we have eight. Let's see. Oh, Ann Crawford is coming. Oh, there you are, Ann. I was wondering about you, dear. Well, uh, good to I, see I, you. I, I knew I was going to be late. That's okay. We're glad you came. I didn't even get to change clothes. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> We're just glad you're here. I my hair. <laughs> That's okay. And you guys can see like a phone um, uh, icon. That is Samantha calling in. Hi, Samantha. We're glad you came. Can you hear us? Yes. Great. Okay. As Like I was saying, I wanted to welcome you to week number one. And first off, we have some new people on this on this um uh, in this meeting, so I'd like you to introduce yourself, what city you're from, and what are you, either what are you excited about accomplishing or what is your focus this time around, uh, whether it's your first time or whether you're a, a repeat, repeat challenger. And I'll go ahead and start so it gives you time, you know, to think. I'm Pamela Galloway, I'm your team coach, and I live in Quitman, Texas. And this time around, I have re-hit the reset button, <laughs> and I am planning to lose 4% this time around, because last week I hit, I mean, I'm, last month, I hit the maintain, and it just, uh, I just, <laughs> just gave me too much leeway, and I just kind of didn't do much. But so anyway, <laughs> I'm ready to keep marching down the scale. My, my real goal is to get below my pre-pregnancy weight, and that is actually about 30 pounds so it, it's going to take more than one challenge but that's where i'm headed okay <laughs> linda do you want to share your um where you're from and okay uh, i'm linda lamb and i'm from winsboro texas which is not too far from quitman and my focus is to get healthier and to Lose weight. Okay. Okay, who's next? How about you, Ann Crawford? Well, I live in Quitman, Quitman, Texas. And uh, I want to get healthy. And I want to lose enough weight to wear, wear clothes, that, some of my clothes that, that are my favorite that I kept. Okay, so you have some of your favorite clothes in your closet that you kept, and you want to lose so that you can wear those again, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm losing weight too fast, though. Oh, well, I don't know. That's a horrible thing. I'm going to maintain. Okay. Well, anyway. I weighed 124 this morning. And wow. Well, you know, I'm sorry, girls, but the last time I weighed 124, I was in sixth grade. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I could wear wear a coat. <laughs> well, anyway, we're glad you can. Drink all my water before I weigh out. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Uh, Becky, do you want to introduce yourself and let us know what your focus is? Sure. My name is Becky. I live in Quitman, Texas. Um, I'm just focused on trying to get back to where I was 20 years ago. I had lost a bunch of weight and I've gained it back plus. Okay. A lot more, and I just want to get back down to that. All righty. And uh, how about you, Nelda Rust? Can you sh introduce yourself and... Uh, uh, yes. Nelda Rust from Waco, Texas. And my focus is um, losing, losing weight, losing a lot of weight. <laughs> And um, I want to be able to um, have more energy and, and just feel better. Are you there? Yes, yeah. I'm here. I, I just picked up a something from Karen Clemens saying she needs the access code. Evidently, she's in the car and is going to join us by um, phone. And I just had to go grab my uh, cell phone. Something. And that's, that's what they call the meeting ID. Uh, 
That's fine. Okay, I'm Kim Rice. I um, was born and raised in the San Diego County area, but I live in California, Maryland now. Um, I moved here two years ago, and um, and so I am separated from all that I knew growing up. Growing up, but I actually like Maryland far better than I like California. So that's a whole different issue. Um, I have a whole bunch of weight to lose too. But I was thinking, like Becky said, it, I want to get back to where I was 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've been a single parent for the last 20 years and sleep was one of my major issues and I ate my way up to some gross amounts of weight um, mainly because I was tired and I discovered in what's this in April that when I got my sleep on track I started losing weight really well in May my sleep got all out of whack again and I gained half my weight back so now I'm trying to get back on track with my sleep because I definitely eat to stay awake okay so that's my main thing is I'd like to lose weight, but if I sleep, I do a lot better in general. And, you know, sleep is, so, is more integral to uh, our health than I realized before I got involved with this. I've been a night owl oh, 30 years, you know, sometimes uh, existing on catnaps. <laughs> so, but according to Dr. Anderson's uh, information that we got last time, having really good sleep regulates two different hormones gosh i can't remember the names of them in your brain and it kind of regulates sleep and uh wow when we don't um get enough sleep we're kind of we're well you know how they say burning a candle at both ends but there's other physiological things that happen when we don't get enough sleep so anyway Let's see. Have we heard from Heather Hudson yet? No. Okay. Um, my name is Heather Hudson. <laughs> um, I am from a little town in Wonder in Illinois called Wonder Lake. Um, I joined the challenge because I have a lot to work on. I have um, three pregnancies worth of weight that needs to come off, and just learning to eat healthy again. And um, yeah. So there, I have a lot to work on. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place, Heather, and you're gonna ha you're gonna learn a lot of healthy hints. And is that Brianna next to you, or is that uh, Carissa with with cinnamon? <laughs> oh, hi, Carissa. Anyway, uh, you're you're at the right place for encouragement, and uh, in the right place for all kinds of helpful information. And I see, wow, we actually have nine on the line, a, a, a full grid of, uh, of uh, team mates. That is Karen Clemens that just got on. Uh, Karen, I was just asking people to introduce themselves, mention where they live, and then what their focus is for this challenge. So can you share that with us? Oh, uh, yeah, well, this is Karen. I'm from San Diego, and really my focus is just focusing on the same thing and that's to continue to move on getting healthier and in better shape okay okay great now you know I've been back and forth answering the phone so I'm not sure has Samantha had a chance to introduce herself no okay. and if you don't ask her she won't say <laughs> thank you Linda <laughs> well anyway Samantha uh, would you kindly introduce yourself and uh, share what your focus is. Uh, yeah, my focus is to lose weight. Okay. Um, and have more energy. Okay. And I live in Quitman, Texas. All right. And there are several ladies on this team. Uh, I guess Becky, Samantha, Linda, Ruth. Now, Ann, are you a part of their... Um, Yes. Tell me the name of your class on Fridays. Made to Crave. Made to Crave. Okay. And see, I haven't been familiar with that, but Kim told me she's familiar with that. So uh, anyway, that's really cool that you guys have actually two support groups you know, for your health. It, Made to Crave is a group that Lisa Turkhurst created. Okay. I'm and she got a book them. about it and we followed that first and just continued Great. on our own. Are you, are you familiar with that, Karen? Made to crave? No. 
Okay, it has to do with craving the Lord rather than food, uh, from what I understand. Anyway. Yes. Well, great. Okay. So, you know, I wanted to ask you to be thinking about, uh, well, let's see. Has anybody, uh, now this week is week one, and it's usually rather dramatic, week one, uh, because, you know, when we change how we're eating, there's usually some dramatic results. Now, some of you may have weighed in. I weighed in this morning, and you may have some results to share, or you may have some what we call non-scale victories, <laughs> NSV. And uh, anyway, uh, does someone have a victory they want to share, whether it's uh, some progress on the program or some non-scale victory? Karen, how about you? I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you always do. Um, no, I think mine would be actually um, being able to work out this week without pain in my ankle and foot. Wow, great. Finding, finding a way to, that, to modify that. Okay. Anyone else? Well, I, have I don't know that I... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know that I had any non-scale victories, or maybe it was because I, I was able to get some extra housework done today that I normally put off. Well, we thought we were having company, so I got it done, and now it's done, and they didn't come. <laughs> well, you know, I would call that a non-scale victory, having the energy to do more housework than you're accustomed to. So well, that's why I didn't know if it was a non-scale victory, because I don't know that I had the energy. It was the have to. Well, still, but you had the ability to. You know, you're yeah. healthier as you are in this challenge with us, and no doubt you're growing healthier, and, and uh, each of us, as we're losing weight or getting better sleep habits, are uh, gaining in our energy, in our strength. Okay. Um, well, I, I did well on the scale this week, but I think the non-scale victory um, – that assisted that was our local swimming pool opened up a water aerobics class. Mm -hmm. I haven't done this for years, but it was so refreshing to get into the water just for 45 minutes. And it was small moves, you know, uh, Tuesday and Thursday night. Well, it, it made a significant impact much better than my prior challenges. So don't you find that after you've done one of those classes that you sleep better that night too? Probably, yeah. except that I was sore. <laughs> really? Okay, because when I was in San, when I still lived in San Diego, my friend and I used to go to the Grossmont Union High School District had a water aerobics thing, and they did it at two different pools, and so we went to the one in Lakeside. Yeah. And it was on Tuesday and Thursday nights also, and I would feel so relaxed after the class because it would be about an hour of you know, you know, mm -hmm. doing stuff and everything. But you go home and you just. It, I'll, I just go put my pajamas on and I go to bed because you are so relaxed. And it's like, don't destroy this by doing something, you know? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. The very first night I was relaxed. The second day she gave us these paddles for our hands. And uh -huh. uh, it was amazing how much difference that made. And that's why I was sore the second time around using these little plastic paddles, you know? I know. But anyway, so let's see who else uh, can share a not... Uh, Nelda, have you had a victory of some sort that you can share this week? Yes, I've lost several pounds. I can't remember exactly how many, but I, I noticed on the on the wall over here it says uh, my progress is 1.28%. So. 1.28%. Wow. And now are you sure that was – take a look at that again. You lost seven pounds? Are they saying that you have 1.28 percent left to go? I don't. Uh, no. Weight progress. That's how much I've lost. I think. And okay. I lost two pounds. Well, anyway, you lost some significant weight. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Samantha, do you have something to report? Whether it's a non-scale victory or how you did this week? No. Okay. I, I would like to help Not Samantha really. out. Okay. You might give Samantha an idea. Okay. Right. Samantha's not used to doing the non-scale victory, so she doesn't know about it, but we've been working on her to, to do something about her getting healthier. 
So her just joining this group is a non-scale victory. Yep, yep. I can agree. Thank you, Linda. That's a non-scale victory, joining the group. All right. Thank, thank you. How about you, You're Heather? welcome. Heather Hudson, um, how about you? Um, I guess we have managed, as myself and my family have gone out for walks all week, um, and I actually was motivated this morning and got up while everybody else was sleeping and went for a walk by myself. Woo! Wow. It's really awesome to do it as a family. So would you say you, your family walk three nights out of five, something like that? Uh, um, probably. And then as soon as I'm done with this, hubby has already asked to go on a walk. So we're going on a walk as soon as I'm done. How cool is that? Because, uh, first of all, it's family time, you know, parent with your children, and you're modeling healthy behavior for them. And here you actually got up and did it this morning. So today, if you walk with them again, it's like a double dipping into your activity level. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm already getting a warning. We got 10 more minutes. <laughs> uh, this is free to all of you and to me, as long as we do it uh, under 40 minutes. And it took us a while to get people online. But um, anyway, let's see. Uh, Becky. Uh, do, you have a, a, do you have a victory of some sort that you want to share with us tonight? Yeah, I know when I'm not eating right, um, you know, I just don't feel right. I sleep a lot, kind of, you know, that. <laughs> water. Um, I'm drinking enough water and everything. I just, it's kind of like you're in a fog, and that fog is lifting. It's lifted a lot. Yay! Um, but, that's my non-scale victory. Well, that's huge. So you're I saying... Didn't, I didn't think about weighing in at the end of the week. I thought... I didn't think we did it until the end of the month. So. Oh, well, well, you know, this is something... Thank you for even making that comment. For those of you who are new, I want to encourage you to weigh at least once a week. And then what you do, you uh, there's a little place that says weigh in, and then you can manually put in there what you weigh. That'll help you monitor your progress. It'll be really encouraging, too. And what's cool is that a little tab will show up and say, you have 22 days to lose X amount of pounds, you know. I have and yet to find that. It doesn't show up anymore like it used to. Well, it now shows up when you click on the things like water, sleep, okay. And that sort of thing. It doesn't. It doesn't show up the entire time. Ah, she's showing us. <laughs> okay, I'll have to go look because it used to always be there at the top of the screen. It was a you permanent. Know? It, they did have a permanent yeah. tab. See, every month they are revising and uh, you know um, improving the site. And uh, they maybe someone thought it was visual clutter to have it there the whole time, but it's very helpful when you weigh in once a week at least, and there's a little pop-up on those five things like sleep, water, activity, and it'll tell you, you know, you've got so many days to lose 3.2 pounds or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then um, you do not have to photograph it until the end. They will give you a new five-digit number so that, so that you, uh, to prove that you are who you say you are, and to, and to prove that you've won your, um, your challenge. And when I say winning your challenge, I, I should probably say complete your challenge. So as long as each of you have a 1,000 points at least and meet whatever goal you set, some of us are maintaining and some of us chose to lose the 4%. So at the end, we have a rolling time period. The points go off the screen on the 28th. But you may weigh out until the 30th if you, you know, need a day or two to meet that goal. And what you do, you weigh out. And then this past time, wow, in 24 hours, they gave us our money back. And what did we get? What, 2877, something like that? So it was plenty of money to um, pay for the next challenge. And so that was really cool. Um, let's see. Now, who have I not asked? about a, a victory. How about you, Ann Crawford? I don't think I've asked you. <clears throat> I have a lot more energy. And I have to do a lot of a lot of things that my husband can't do anymore. So that energy is very, very important. I had I had to plant tomatoes and, and uh, pull, pull up, work in the garden. And okay. 
and he always insisted on doing that himself before he got mm -hmm. before his health got worse. Okay. So that's wonderful that you are improving in your strength and energy this spring as you've been on this challenge and it's helping you around the house now that you have some more physical chores than you have in recent years. Let's see. So have I left out anybody? Kim, did I ask you about a non-scale victory? I don't know if I had any non-scale victories, but the scale went down. I've almost lost what I gained in May. So Woo! I know. So, but, but I have plenty of time to do damage. No, 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 no. <laughs> or we think, more. About, we think about it wow in the first week you already undid that damage so that means you have three more weeks to build on that success right. and keep going down the scale so be <laughs> kind to yourself treat yourself with grace you know that's another thing were you yeah. reading my blog post today no i haven't because i was talking about that i will not extend myself grace like i will extend to anybody else on the planet <laughs> uh oh well, hello. That uh, we all need to extend ourselves some grace. And, I know that. But okay. Well, anyway, that is a whole different issue. Okay. Uh, let's see. I kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, let's see. Well, I've got a new train. Yeah. Woo -woo. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having a Sumheimer's day, not an Alzheimer's. You know, occasionally I lose. <laughs> train of thought, you know, or senior moment, whatever you want to call it, because I am sensational 60, and so, you know, I can claim to have senior moments. <laughs> so, is that okay. funny, Heather? So, is that what? funny, Heather? Is that funny thinking of me as a sensational 60-year-old? Well, when you were visiting a few weeks ago, you, you kept telling me that, and, uh, Birthday's right around the corner for you. <laughs> yes, which means I'll be 61, you know. But anyway, uh, let's see. Well, um, you know, someone, um, I can't remember which one of you, but someone posed a really interesting question. And I want to suggest if anybody has um, a resource uh, to please post it on our team page or on our Facebook page. Now, I have a Facebook page called Next Stop Healthyville. And I'm not sure if, if I have enrolled Becky and Heather in it. You know, I can't remember exactly who all is in it. But um, any, anyway, and I'm, so I'll look and see the new people who are in our challenge today. I'll make sure that I include you in that. But someone asked me, hey, um, do you have a guide or some suggestions on making healthy, lean, and green meals? Was that one of you or was that maybe Ruth uh, Lampy that mentioned that? I remember reading it, but I don't know who it was. Right. I remember reading it, too, and I came across a website today, and, you know, it's not on the tip of my tongue, but I can go find it. But it had a wealth of recipes that uh, were low-fat, you know, and uh, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to say, if, if any of you have a, an online site that you found some really good recipes that are not uh, laden with fat or sugar, please post it and share that kind of resource with us. Uh, you know, it's part of supporting one another. And I have a real good, uh, a good recipe for a, a, a low, uh, low fat, no sugar, frozen dessert. Yes, you do. And I think you've put that on our Healthyville page, haven't you? Well, I, I tried to post it, but I couldn't find it. Okay, well, I'll make sure you have the link then. Well, I think I made a mistake in it anyway. Oh, okay. Well, Becky, uh, I want to ask the new people, do you have any questions that I could clear up, whether it's Becky Crump or Nelda Rust or Samantha? I guess I, I joined Monday, so I'm, I'm assuming I still have time to do the weekly weigh-in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can weigh in any time. You can you know. weigh in any time. Okay. But I guess what I'm going to say is on my part. Uh, in the past, I've had some people who have wanted to weigh in daily. So I have to, I am lovingly encouraging them to weigh in once every seven days. And if you absolutely must, take a little peek on day four. You know, because <laughs> weighing in daily can be um, frustrating. frustrating because women's bodies fluctuate throughout the month 
And, uh, you know, depending on what we eat, how hot it is, how salty, you know, whatever. So you can weigh in today and it will give you an update uh, on your screen. And then, uh, so any other questions, Becky? No, I think that was it. Okay. Uh, Nell, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. I think it's important to mention also that the weighing in throughout the month isn't mandatory. It's no. just beneficial to you. Yes. It's just a way of, your, of you monitoring your progress. And please don't get too wrapped up in that number. Because after all, that number is the amount of gravity that we hold, <laughs> you know, on this earth. <laughs> there are going to be some weeks that you may not you may not make what? progress on the scale that you wanted and sometimes we're losing inches so what were you going to say samantha get off no i, w I was just uh, gonna ask the same question like becky did um about weighing in and okay uh, when when to weigh in and and what is the best what is the best time to weigh in whoa 